Hello, and welcome to episode four now of the Middle Tennessee State Series. Today we got a big one, hosting Duke. I don't know if it's confirmed, but there's been rumors that corny-ass Jason Tatum's going to be at the game. I doubt it personally, but I would love to beat Duke in front of him. So we do have five commits on the board already. Looks like three three-stars, two two-stars. A couple guys on defense, a couple guys on offense. I'm liking the start of our recruiting class. And all these guys that we've been going after, we're still first for all of them. Okay, so this week we want to get... Amari Moultrie here, scheduled for a visit. So this is going to be next week. It's going to be a bye week, which is okay. I just want to get him in the building. Same with Paul Aviles, who likes coach stability. Kind of a odd thing to like, but to each their own. Teddy Kraft is still in his top eight, so I can't really do a hard sell here. Jason's looking good. Don't know why he just won't commit already. And Paul, or sorry, Amari and Paul are both going to be in their top fives. So I'm going to start hard selling these guys. Throw a DM on him. Again, with Paul, I don't know his third one for sure what he likes, but it's clearly proximity to home. Also send him a DM. So now we got a little bit of wiggle room. Do you realize I'm going after two tight ends, which doesn't make a lot of sense. We don't have any three stars on our board right now. And actually, a lot of these guys, outside of these top two, are kind of interested in us still. So we're probably, I mean, we already have one D-tackle. But I think we need D-tackles actually pretty bad. So we're going to go after one of these two guys here. I might actually scout them quick just to see who looks more promising. See if maybe we get a gem out of them. We don't. Pretty comparable power moves. Uh, strength, play recognition. They're really similar across the board, it looks like. Thomas, is, his uh, tackling's a little bit lower, but he kind of looks more, more of an athlete. So we're going to go ahead and get him on the board. I'm going to just send the house for now. And we do have 10 extra points, but I don't just want to go to waste. I don't think any of these guys are going to come here, and I don't really need another D-tackle past that. So let's take a quick look at some recommended guys. See if there's any three or four stars that don't really have many offers up here. We do need a center. Build up that line. I'm worried that a Georgia might come in later and swoop him, but we are going to add him for now. We'll just offer him a scholarship and search his social media like that's going to tell us anything. Just don't, don't have tweeted any slurs and we'll be fine. I don't think it would tell me if he did. So out of sight, out of mind. So we're taking on Duke today. They do have a five overall advantage on us. Better on offense, better on defense. And by golly, we are bringing out the All Blacks. I mean, look at how clean those look. Got a big game today. Hosting a... Power 4 school, RIP to the Pac-12, no longer really the Power 5. Time for kickoff here. Kicking away to Duke to start it. They are in their traditional all-white road unis. In between that time, where I made the little cut, I was kind of worried he's going to take that a lot further than he did. My mom texts me and sent me a picture of Oreos filled with Reese's filling. I don't know how to feel. Love Oreos, love Reese's, but the mixture of the two, I mean, those have got to be the most disgusting things in the world or the greatest things in the world. There's no in-between with Reese's Oreos. All right, but I'm focused on the game here. As you can tell, as I'm just getting bodied by uh, their right guard, I believe. I was actually their right tackle. Makes me feel maybe a little better. Tackles are bigger. They're sticking on the ground here. Number nine, Ken Walker. God, they, the injuries just sometimes stack up so fast in this game, it feels like. We're going to send a blitz here. Going to set the tone early, get a stop here in the backfield. There's Francis, and he, I believe, just hurt their running back. Two injuries for Duke in the first series. That's tough. 
Both they were putting to us. We're going to have an opportunity here pretty dang quick. Forced a fast three and out. Looking for a block. It's this is good. We, we went through a lot of film this week on defense. You know, clearly they struggled, especially late against Western Kentucky where they gave up 21 points in the fourth. They made that game much closer than it maybe could have been. But I'm hoping to see some more, especially out of our front seven. You know what? Make that our whole 11. Our D-backs did not play well last week. The only ones who did, I think, were our linebackers, which I usered 95% of the time. But here we're going to start off with a Frank Peasant run. He had a, just a massive game last week, and he's honestly starting out pretty similar. Eight-yard run there. Going to try this read option. I still don't think I've had a successful one in the series, but no time like the present. And I kept it. Why did I keep it? I don't think it mattered. I think I'm blown up either way, and that's just... That's getting to the point where I need to not call that play. <laughs> Well, here we go. Quick third and five. Duke looking to get off the field early. Our offense trying their best not to let that happen. Well, Frank Peasant. He's just a ball player. He is just a ball player. Get the ball in his hands. Let him feast. See if Omari Kelly can get something here on this little jet touch pass to the outside. Gets a couple blocks. Has a little bit of speed. That's going to be a nice gain as we see. I think there was a poop emoji on the video board or on the, the play call sheet to the sideline here. Can't quite see it now. You'll just have to believe me, I guess. Take my word for it. See if Willis can't get open on this touch pass. Nice play there by the safety. Now we have an injury on the O-line where we are pretty damn thin. So that's not going to be good. Second down. This offense has a second down play. I do like actually a run call here. Let's see if Stewart can motion to the other side, possibly take his defender with him away from where I'm running the ball, which he does. That's going to hopefully give us a little bit more room here. I just couldn't, couldn't quite make it through that hole. 55 actually did have a decent block there. That was just a nice play by the defender to shed it enough. I'm going to try this screen here. Get the ball in Frank Peasant's hands. Hope good things happen. Not going to get a block, but don't even need it. He's just going to outrun their their uh, linebacker there. Offense is feeling good. We're moving the ball. We're moving the ball, which offense clearly has not been my weak point in this series. Oh, I thought I had that. Got a little greedy there. Maybe should just check down underneath on one of those uh, two receivers that were coming across the middle. But he had, he had the look. Oh, we just get a block shed immediately for a two-yard loss. So things get a little more interesting. I don't have a ton of third and 12 play calls at the 15. We're just going to have to hope Sherman either beats him in the middle or Willis beats him on the outside, which I think Willis might. Oh, yeah. Little rolling catch there. And he says, hold my Willis. I'm going to make that joke way too many times throughout this series, so I'm so sorry. But get used to it. It's funny. Good 10 play, 67-yard drive start in the game. 7-0 lead against Duke. I wish our stands would be a little more filled. We haven't lost a home game yet. Hopefully uh, beating a Power 4 conference. That's actually a pretty decent team in the game and in real life. will will get us there. But, of course, we, we have to beat them first. Trying to get that stadium pulls up. Oh, big hit there. And we actually recover a fumble. I don't know. I don't recover fumbles too often, but we laid the boom there. Was that old McDonald? The old McDonald, man, he is a turnover machine, it seems like. He's only like a 75 overall, but he just, he plays the ball. He plays the ball. Just like that, we have a, a chance to really blow this game up quick. Not going to, not looking to throw. They have numbers on the outsides. We have numbers on the insides. We'll take this run and we will run right into uh, D lineman because he shed the block right where I was trying to go. Quick third down. Trying to not just let them get away with a field goal opportunity here. I think, okay, we had Willis on the outside for a second, but we're just going to have to throw this away and hopefully be out of the tackle box. Thank God. We're just going to take the points. You know, we got, got field good position and just kind of squandered it there. Hopefully that has the accuracy. It does. Sometimes when you're in that yellow zone, I never know for sure. I don't think anyone really does how well the kick is actually going to end up. 
but that one was right down the middle, so we'll take it. 10-0 lead here pretty quick. Duke's got to be a little rattled. On the road. Crowd of 4,000 today, probably. They're really trying to get that pulse up into that fourth bar. I believe in them. I'm trying to get them hyped up. They're going with the Jeff Touch Pass. We shut it off on the outside, but he cuts it up nicely inside. We just didn't have a ton of help there. First pass of the game for the Duke quarterback, so they seem to be a pretty run-heavy team from what, what we've seen so far. And they're going back on the ground here. Nice play by Curtis. Get some help. Stops him for no gain there. Brings up third and short. I kind of want to blitz again. I'm not going to fully commit to a run, but the way they're running the ball, I can see that being the call here on third down. Quarterback keeper on the option. I don't think I'll ever remember to change my read key until it actually happens to me in a game. But now, I don't think the quarterback's going to keep that ball much more. Let's keep the pressure up, though. I like I like the looks we're getting. We're getting to their backfield so far. And Curtis is going to be there. Wraps up the legs. That's going to be a nice loss of two. I can see them running again on second. I genuinely can. We're going to hope that our DBs just don't get burnt if they do throw. And we're going to keep loading this box. Oh, yeah, they're going with the draw play. Curtis is there, but he can't wrap up. It's going to bring up third and five. If they do throw, I'm assuming they're going to throw probably at the sticks. I can't imagine they're taking a deep shot, and they go with the halfback draw. Really had a chance to blow that up, just a step slow with Curtis, and he gets to the outside. Nice play there by uh, Rabby? Raby? Played like he has rabies there. So maybe, maybe we'll just go with Raby. Try to inspire some good play out of him. Some crazy defense. Really solid play there. Third and nine. Let's see if we can get him off the field. I actually am going to drop back into my normal zone just because I feel like they'll pass here. But of course, they will always run that draw play. And he gets it over the middle, but can't complete it. They're trying a field goal attempt here. It had me running just a normal normal defense as a suggestion, but I'm going to actually go for a return here because this is a 58-yard field goal. 59? Just don't... Wow! He had a chance on that thing. Kickers might be a little too juiced in this game. I don't know how many college kickers really have a chance from 59. Well, that's all right. We'll take the ball at midfield. I'll take a no gain there over a two-yard loss like it looked like we were going to get. If they do send these guys, we're going to have something quick over the middle, which they don't, and we're going to get sacked. I might have had something open. I genuinely don't know. I was so focused on where the pressure was coming and if I actually had even time for a throw. We do have some room here to the right. We'll try this cross screen, see if we can't get Frank out. Not even an accurate enough pass. So can't take advantage of the good field position. Just going to be immediately punting the ball back to him. It's going to be a good punt, though. Got him down quick. That's what we needed there. Those those angles, those pursuit angles looked a little bit better for my kick coverage team. Been working on that in practice as well because they've been running so wide for some reason. Back to the ground here. First down. He's going to run away from me and pick up about five. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. We have a 10-0 lead on Duke. We will certainly take that result. Start of the second quarter here. <clears throat> 10-0 lead on Duke. Love the way my team is playing so far. Absolutely no complaints. I think they're throwing this jet touch pass. No, they're going to hand it off to the middle, but that's okay. We committed up the middle. The second I see a man in motion, I'm thinking it's like 95% either going to be a quick pass or a run play, which is virtually the same thing to me. So I always, always run commit. And they're just going to drop that over my linebacker's head there. See, I don't, I don't know why they're not really passing the ball more. I think we're clearly not great on defense. We have not been at any point this season, except for maybe that first quarter there, but that's because they're just running the ball, and I'm able to predict it. I'm just kind of getting a vibe for their offense, and it's, it's clearly run the damn football. Second and eight. 
I mean, even on these second longs, they're keeping it on the ground. I mean, obviously it worked out for him there. He picked up about seven to make it the third one, which actually means that they might run the dang ball here again. Try to load the box here. Try to play the read with Francis. He's going to go. Oh, I just got blocked. I saw where the hole was opening up. Was going to try to shoot the gap and just, just got blocked. Don't really have much of an excuse there. Well, RPO there, and he's going to score? Thankfully not. I mean, I, I just have to imagine they keep it on the ground. It looks like it maybe is an RPO with this play call. Yep, and it's going to be, and he's going to lose a few. Well played there again by Rabies. I can see this being a second down run. And it is. And we just can't get there with Francis, but nice play there by the D tackle. Brings up third and goal from the 10. We just need to not get beat deep or over top. Make them take an underneath check down. Just throw the ball away. We'll bring out the field goal kicker. We're gonna we're gonna try and block. Again, I won't block it. There's a 95% chance to rough the kicker. But I'm just, I'm feeling okay right now. I'm feeling a little crazy. This is ridiculous. Brendan Harris, man, you're going to get cut. I know it's really just a game thing. And you just happen to be in the position that is going to rough the kicker. I'm going to start taking over him if I want to try to actually block the kicks just to see if that maybe helps at all. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it's just going to move somebody else to ref, but it's just, it's a joke how often it happens. And now we're probably going to give them a three, four points. I think the field goal went in. I honestly don't even know. I was just so focused on being mad for a second. Oh, yeah. Just smothered by black jerseys there. Three tackles for loss so far for Curtis. We'll certainly take that. Oh, I read that, and I'm just just couldn't get there. Okay, give me over to Harris. Let's see what happens. Didn't rough the kicker, so maybe that's what I got to do. So just like that, we got 10-7 game, which is okay. I'm still feeling good. Duke is a heavy, not a heavy hitter by any means, but better than us. So if we came away with a dub today, I would feel pretty damn good. Again, I want to maybe take my might take my time a little bit. I need to take my time speaking too, but on this drive, don't want to give them a lot of time left, if any, to go down and potentially score before halftime. Sorry, I was running the clock a little bit off screen. Here we're looking for this RPO. Not afraid to run the ball here though. Oh yeah, he's gonna get contested. We'll take the ball. Not quite gonna get the first, that's okay though. I'm actually gonna turn on two clock just for the rest of the half because I want I want to run the clock down. We're gonna run out of I form. We're gonna let my fullback hopefully block. I love a run to the outside. This is gonna be a toss to the right here with Peasant. Hopefully we can get to the outside. We get the blocks. And just not enough for the first. We have a decision to make here after the two-minute warning. I'm making it now. I know I could cheese and do, like, quarterback sneak for a first, but it's fourth and inches. I think we've had some push. I think we can get it. I'm going for it, clearly. And we have just enough... But just enough, I mean, we gain eight yards, but I was just worried about crossing the line. So you see that clock run down quite a bit. Can't waste too much time here once I get into it. Here we have R1 on this deep ball. Does it have enough? It will. That's going to be Stewart. He makes a man miss. And he makes two guys miss their tackles on his way to the end zone. And possibly, I maybe our longest play so far in offense of the series. We'll take that. Well, of course, we did leave a lot of time for Duke, which I said I didn't want to. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to bitch about that long touchdown. 
football out there, and he does the rest with the catch and then stride it into the end zone. So Duke, I think, might be going, you know, pass heavy here, seeing if they can score before half. They're starting off with one, but we're there in the open field. That's going to keep keep the clock running. Kind of surprised they're not going no huddle, but I guess that they can probably just er call a timeout. But I guess they can just no huddle to the line like they did. We got some pressure on the quarterback. It took it took a second. I'd still like to see us get back there a little quicker. And we're going to send the blitz. We're going to see if we can either make the ball come out of his hands early or see if we can get a sack, possibly get the ball back. That's going to be Curtis. He misses. And he has just... The craziest arm in the world? What is he, Patrick Mahomes? He threw that ball 85 yards, probably. Where are you at? He throws it flat-footed from the seven. He hits his receiver at the 17. I gotta do some math quick. He threw that ball 76 yards air, of air. That's ridiculous. 76 yards in the air. Why are you not at Georgia, my guy, if you have that kind of arm talent? Is this dude just like the Joe Milton of Duke? Just insane talent, but like not a good quarterback? Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. And they score a touchdown because, of course, they do. Brendan Harris, go rough this damn kicker. I'm pissed. I got time, I guess, to go score, but... A set, he broke, he shed a sack first off, which I didn't even mention, because that was one thing. But then he went back and threw it 76 freaking yards. Flat-footed, no run-up. Oh my god, I just got hit with an edge spear there. That's on me, Willis. I set you up for failure. I'm just irate right now. And I take a sack. They're going to call timeout. Why wouldn't they? Because they can get the ball back here. I actually like that play, too. Just nothing really got open that I saw. I was looking for R1 over the middle. And he just didn't have it. He might hear. Lead him up field. Get the first. Some fourth and inches. So they do waste their timeout. I'm not. I'm going to punt this one away, unfortunately. Going to try to pin them back deep in hopes that they don't throw another 76-yard bomb on my defense. <sighs> so they don't. They don't have timeouts. So that's good. Bad news is the quarterback can throw it to the end zone from here. Literally. Okay, we're fine with them taking the check down. I kind of let number four even loose behind me, their receiver, which I was concerned about. If he hang on to that ball another second, they probably gain about 30 yards. Once then, two seconds left, likely going to half here. Hey, first sack of the day. Garbage time sack. Unreal. All right, time for half number two here. Got a three-point lead. Still feeling decent. Really need to... Take advantage of getting the ball here first. I feel like I haven't had the ball a ton, especially since I scored on that big play early, earlier. So I'm gonna get Frank Frankie going here this half. Hopefully, gonna make an increased effort to feed him. And if I could get off my tight end, I had such a lane, but their feet were freaking intertwined with each other. Unreal. He could possibly have a good good run here if I cut up the middle. Oh, yeah. Third and short. We like that. We're just going to go with our OP jet touch pass here to Omari Kelly. 
Just assume he can get to the outside. Which he does. He gets a block. Enough of a block, I should say. I think we could maybe take a deep shot here. They only have one safety back. Let's hope our O-line can hold up, which they can't. Not a great throw, and he just barely steps out of bounds to see more room. We'll take it. O-line broke down pretty quick. I was scrambling for my life, and it was a red throw. And we got a nice chunk completion, so can't complain too much. That's for, for sure. Let me try to get Frank Pezzett still a little more involved here, especially down in the red zone. Get the right guard on the pole. I mean, I just can't. He's so slow, I can't let that block develop. It's not going to get me more than four yards, I promise you that. It looked like Craig Pezzo was a little bit injury prone right now, which is not good. Right after I said I want to feed him a little bit more, but Stewart, he's just shedding these guys from the back. All right. Got a 10-point lead here at home. Let's go see if we can't make a little stop here and uh, start putting this game away. Oh, you got to pick that off, old McDonald. You got to pick that off. I'm also shocked that it looked kind of like it was an RPO and they didn't get any ineligible man downfield because that quarterback hung on to that football. Man, they're coming out back-to-back -back passes. Not good ones, though. That's for, for darn sure. So third and ten here. They've got to come out passing again. And they don't. They go halfback draw. And we don't make the tackle. But it is fourth and inches. And for the first time this series, shockingly, took to episode four. My mom is calling me mid-series. So I will be pausing. Well, assuming I edit this right, that was about two seconds for you guys and about ten minutes of my life because my mom had to reset her internet router and unplug it and plug it back in. We're back. We're feeling this punt. And we're going to go try to step on Duke's damn throat. Oh, that was a great move by Pezzan. If he would have had that, if that guy had not been there, he might have been gone. That does provide us an opportunity here to take a shot on second down. And we got it with Square. We got it with Square. Omari Kelly touchdown. Easy. These deep shots are sometimes working. If I get the time, Matiato can make it happen. That's on to Kelly. Just like that, three-score lead at Duke. Not at Duke, against Duke at home. But we are feeling good, regardless. It's going to be a halfback screen. And we're there, and we just can't make the tackle. Nice little game there for Duke. I'm, they've got to be going more pass-heavy. They're down three scores. They're on the road. The crowd's getting crazy. Oh, my God. I didn't know Duke had that in their bag. <laughs> That's really the first trick play a CPU has ran on me at all in this game. And I was not ready for it. Thankfully, they only picked up about five. They moved the sticks, but that's all right. Nice play by, there by Francis to get him down, but just couldn't uh, jump the ball or anything. Going out to the flat, and so did he, and so that just left that guy open. I just, I need to communicate with the AI about who's going where, which I did not. I gotta be yelling at him. Wide receiver now comes in motion. 
you know, with the Jeff touch pass, they try to cut it up field. Have a little bit of success on it, but nothing too nothing too crazy. And they do it the, again the opposite way. All oh, that time's actually the handoff. I chop at that dude's legs, and he just like isn't affected by it. He just has to do a little, uh, get out of the way. That's all right. It's all right. It's got to be. Got him down there. They're looking good for a score here, though. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. He's looking to throw. They only really had two routes in this little check down, but the check down gonna work. Didn't even see that guy out there, didn't know he was out there, didn't know he existed. And he just is able to pick up a few with the sticks. All but a first and goal up them for them at the eleven. They're running it. They're gonna get tackled in the backfield though. That's a nice play there. Way to wrap up. Good team tackling on that one. That's what we need. Fundamental football is what we're all about here at Middle Tennessee State. That was less fundamental. Third and inches, they have it at the one. I'll be shocked if they somehow pick up the first without just scoring. They're going jet touch pass. He cuts it up, and yeah, he's going to score. I had the outside contain. No one had the middle contain. That's all right, though. I keep telling myself it's all right, at least. We do have some fans in the end zones today. I think that's a little bit of an improvement from what we've had in previous uh, weeks. <clears throat> I know this is going to be a bit premature. I'm going to turn on Chew Clock already because I do not plan on giving this ball back to Duke. I plan on keeping it on the ground. I plan on completing my passes. Sometimes plans can go astray. I'm just hoping they don't hear. Going to look for this little RPO. I love this play with Willis just on this little flat if he doesn't get covered, which he half-ass does. That's tough. Probably just let the third quarter run out again. Time. Hold up your fours. We might be the power four team here at home in week four. Start of the fourth quarter now. Looking at a third and six. Definitely want to convert here. Keep the clock moving. Keep the ball to Duke's hands. That's the only way they get back in this game is if we give them the ball. And I just, I looked to run, and then I just got smacked as I tried to throw. Ugly. That's what we're going to call that possession. And there's those wide angles again. At least able to make a good tackle and not give up too much, but... Run towards the guy. We're just doing sprints down the sidelines. This isn't off-season training. I can't believe he hung on to that football. They have four guys out here to the left. One's coming across. I thought that ref was a defender for a second. I was like, that's a give me pick. Not one of our guys. That's a zebra. This quarterback is elite. He will not go down, and he is just diming after he breaks sacks. Good lord. Come on, team. They're in prime position to score, make this a really interesting game, and he has number four just wide open. I saw that, and just the way I tried to move, it just... I had no chance with my momentum to get back there. We have a three-point game now. I really like to add so much unnecessary drama to my games. I promise I'm not doing it for viewership because I don't think it's going to impact it. I promise you, I'm not trying to make these games close. I'm trying to win some damn games and just am not doing it super easily. 
Oh, 55. You are so slow. Craig Peasant gets hurt. Should have seen that coming. I mean, look at that dude's body. He is... He's down a little bit bad right now. And, of course, that stops the clock with the injury. Oh, you got to be quicker than that, Stewart. At least we pick up a first. Frank Peasant going to be done for a little bit, it appears. So we're subbing in Brenton Brewer. Brenton Brewer. Brewer Brenton? I don't know what his name is. I'm just talking out of my ass. Kelly here on a little check down. Keep the clock moving. I would love, obviously, nothing more than to go score a touchdown here with not a lot of time left. Go up two scores and pretty much end the game. We'll see if Sherman can get open on this little bubble screen. He can. He has some room. Oh, that was a heck of a move there. There we go. That's uh, going to eclipse Vatiato with 300 yards on 14 completions and 20 attempts. He's having himself a day. I'm just going to run the ball here. I looked at passing, but I don't want the false start penalty from the late no huddle. I'm okay with just running, even if we're only going to get one yard there. We're going to have to hike the ball here again. Hope Stewart gets open. Oh, yeah, he will be. That's going to take us to the two-minute warning. We're not running the play. Yep. Clock's just going to burn right through. I do like the jet touch pass, but I want to actually flip it. I think we got always try to run into the open field if you can. I know sometimes you get the ball just in the middle of the field, which can make it tough. Going up six, I think, is asking to lose. I'm going for it. They're, they're going for a touchdown regardless. If anything, going being up six just incentivizes them more to go score a touchdown. I don't want to lose 35-34. I'd rather lose 35-31. I did not like how that played out. They bumped into each other, which you should be running a mesh concept at different depths. But instead, he has to duck, duck behind the linebacker and almost takes out the receiver as I'm throwing him the football. You can see I start the throwing motion right there because I think he's coming open, and he just <laughs> got smacked by his own man. But the important thing is we did pick up the first down. The gutsy call worked. We got Frank Peasant back in the game here. Potentially the read option kind of worked. Duke already out of timeouts? They must be. Means the first down will end it. That's going to do it here. <clears throat> I will say, I know we can end the game. I said it before, I'll say it again. I'm the Russell Westbrook of this game. I'm going to pad the stats. No ifs, ands, or buts. You think I'm kneeling at the five-yard line? Maybe should have. Not a great play there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll keep it on the ground for this next play, then pass on third down if we have to, if we don't score here. Run the clock down. Going to try to make the right read. I do. We score. I did it. I made the right read on a read option with Brian Bruton. I think I fumbled that name a solid six times already. Brian Bruton. I told you I will slowly learn these key guys' names. If they're in the game, if they play for me. It's just going to take me a minute. And by the time I do know them, they will probably be graduating seniors who will not be on the roster next year. Oh, yeah, this crowd is going nuts. 26 seconds left, up 10. This game's all but over. Just got to right off the X's and O's. Hopefully that stayed in bounds enough. It did not. It's not great, but keep fighting. Keep spinning that pill around. Use every second on this clock to try to get this game as close as you can. I got to run with that guy. Hold on. They had the quarterback a good smack there, which he deserves. For the amount of sacks he's broken and dots he's thrown after them today. I'm still I'm still not gonna be over that 76 yard one. Probably won't be over for a while. 
But we're, we're laying some hits on him now. That's going to make me feel better. I want him sore Monday morning when he gets back to campus. Yeah. One last play here. Garbage time. Doesn't matter. Maybe old McDonald can get another pick. He did last game. Maybe he came here. That's playable. Batted down. Would have liked the pick there. Again, stat powder. But we beat Duke by 10 at home. That's a pretty damn good win for this team. Going into conference play next, too. Real confidence builder. I can't exactly remember who we open with in Conference USA. I do know we have a bye week next week, so I will go ahead and sim through that in this episode. Um, I just like to start episodes with a game already on the schedule versus simming through a bye week then. And just like that, time to look through our stats here. We approved a 3-1 and one on the year. Only loss coming at Ole Miss. Feeling pretty good about where the team at. Matiato, 18-24, 3-13, four touchdowns. Hell of a game from the boy. Frank Pezzett, a little bit less involved. Did have 18 carries, which actually was more than I thought. But only 64 yards was swallowed up quite a bit. Um, only a long of nine on the day. Receiving wise, we had a couple good days. Stewart, seven for 132 touchdowns. Mari Kelly, another big day. And Holden Willis, I don't know why he's been so quiet lately. I think it, maybe it's a mix of running the ball as well as we hit on a couple deep shots today. We didn't have as many, you know, of those underneath stuff as we normally do. Better offense or defensively today. A lot more tackles for loss here against the Duke running game. Only one sack. Still need to see that improve desperately. No picks, but I believe we did have that forced fumble by Old McDonald, recovered by Devontae Smith. So overall, pretty pretty happy with the performance today at home. All right, time to go through the weekly summary here. Not a whole lot of exciting stuff apparently. Like I said, we will go through this bye week now. Another commit, good three-star D tackle. We need guys up front. Amari's in his top three, which we are just clearing Indiana for him. I would love to get a three-star quarterback in here. Oh, we open it. My bad. I thought we had a bye week this week. I don't know our schedule. We open conference play at Memphis. You guys probably knew that. I certainly did it. I think I just thought it was our bye week because I thought it was week six already and that we were going to have these guys coming over for uh, the visits in the bye week. And I started recruiting. I'm so dumb. That's for next episode. All right. We will call it there. I have to remember to recruit. I'm actually going to do this coach abilities thing because that's another thing I just forget. I clearly am in shambles right now. Maybe I just wasn't expecting to be a top top uh, power four school at home, but I did. And then this next one, we will go on and play, play a pretty damn good team in Memphis on the road. So see you guys until then.